It isn't uncommon to have a movie set in Montana. We often think of A River Runs Through It or the hit show Yellowstone. But one local writer has a movie in production right here in our backyard. It's called Mending the Line. Bozeman resident Stephen Camilio has a lot going on. His script is coming to life. Mending the Line tells the story of a, a young uh, U.S. Marine who is wounded in Afghanistan and he comes to a VA hospital that's uh, located in Livingston, Montana. There he meets a Vietnam veteran who is dealing with his own trauma from the war. And the older vet teaches the younger vet how to fly fish as a means of helping him deal with his physical and emotional trauma. Unlike many films set in Montana, but shot out of state, director Joshua Caldwell saw the value and was enthusiastic to keep mending the line based in the treasure state. So to be able to not only come out here and make the movie, but also have that movie be about fly fishing, shoot it here in Montana, in Bozeman, in Livingston, on the Yellowstone, on the Gallatin, uh, it was just, it's incredibly special. Coordinating the crew, equipment, and the staff is a monumental task, but add Montana weather to that, it can complicate an already tight schedule. And who would have thought that in the middle of a drought year, we would have a rainy week right on the week when we're supposed to be on the water. And local companies have been an active partner to this movie, keeping that authentic feel. Sims has been a great partner of ours. They've given us clothing, um, Farbank, which is Sage Fly Rods, Reddington Fishing Gear and Rio Lines. Tom Morgan Rodsmiths, which is local here in Bozeman, made uh, two bamboo rods for the film. Road Drift Boats, Bozeman Reels, uh, get, uh, loaded us a reel, and um, the, the support goes on and on from the, from the local community. Another local fishing organization that has played an integral part to the movie, Warriors in Quiet Waters. So when we got the script, the ending, we're like, wow, this feels very much like what our programs do. This is what we do at Warriors in Quiet Waters. And so the writer, Steve Camilio, was like, well, why don't we actually film at Quiet Waters Ranch if this is what you do? And that brought the crew to the Quiet Waters Ranch. And now the vision for this film is coming to life. And that passion for this project could help a veteran that is looking for their next passion. And I hope by doing that, we connect with veterans. Uh, those that haven't gone through a program like Quiet Waters, maybe they'll find that fly fishing is their thing, or maybe they'll find out that you know, surfing is their thing, or woodworking. They'll find something that brings them therapy for whatever trauma they're dealing with. Right now the movie's in production, and there's no solid timeline for when it may be released to a screen near you. Until next time, keep those lines tight, rods bent, and most of all, have fun. From the Warriors and Quiet Waters Ranch in the Gallatin Valley, Matt Owell, MTN News.